Hey guys, today we're talking about 28 fragrances I purchased in 2023. So the title was misleading. I said 27. I recounted fragrances I purchased and I made 28 fragrance purchases in 2023. How many fragrances did you guys purchase in 2023? Drop your list down below with a niche indie or designer. If you like this type of content before the video ends, if you're new here but watching for a while and haven't subscribed, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Give me a like and click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. I want to give a full disclosure. Before the video starts, I purchased all these fragrances here with my YouTube money. When you guys watch my videos, I get a little bit of YouTube kickback money and all the overtime worked at my job the last year in 2023. No brand sent me these fragrances at all. Here's the list. We have Louis Vuitton and this is Cella Rue. Cella Rue is another fresh and clean green fragrance, like a little bit of leather. It's a nice fresh and clean fragrance definitely check out cellar root by louis vuitton next fragrance i purchased for now is louis vuitton this is meteor one of my favorites from their brand this is a 10 out of 10. it's fresh it's clean it's soapy like slightly powdery if you like fragrances like dior um sauvage you like fragrances like blue de chanel Versace doing blue you're gonna love louis vuitton meteor some people say it's kind of generic which you can say what it is but it gets the job done gotten compliments every time i wore this fragrance for the four times that i've worn it Definitely check it out if you want a clean, soapy shower gel fragrance, Louis Vuitton Meteor. Next fragrance I purchased from the house of Louis Vuitton, this is Imagination. This one here is Jerome's favorite fragrance from the lineup. It has that citrusy, there's some cinnamon, there's some nutmeg. This is another fresh fragrance, but it has a little bit of freshness about it. A little bit different than your Imagination, but you kind of get the same vibe. But this one here is more based on, there's a tea note in here, there's some cinnamon and some freshness. This one performs a little bit better, I would say, than Imagination. I'm sorry, this performs a little bit better than Meteor, so definitely check it out. Next fragrance we have is Louis Vuitton. This is Pacific Chill. So Pacific Chill is a good one as well. This one here kind of gives you that uh, bubblegum vibe. I said like the zebra bubblegum back in the day when I was a little bit younger. It's fruity, it's juicy. There is some citruses, there's some mint or spearmint as well. But I don't get a lot of mint on my skin. It's a decent release, not my favorite, but I do love the beautiful green bottle with my custom name, CMC. Definitely check it out. Next fragrance I purchased, Louis Vuitton. I bought too many Louis Vuittons, right? Pfft. This is on the beach. This one here, Jerome likes it because it gives him that beachy vibe. It reminds me of going down the beach. He went down the beach uh, last year, had a great time down there enjoying life. Definitely get that beachy sand vibe. You're definitely getting bergamot, lemon, there's mandarin. There's a lot of fresh notes in this fragrance here. A lot of orange citrus vibe. This is an amazing spring and summer fragrance. Definitely probably got in a few comments. Definitely check it out if you want a summer feel, summer sandy beach, a sandy smell vibe. Definitely check out on the beach. Next fragrance is Tom Ford Grey Vetiver Parfum. Oh man, you guys know I talk about this fragrance to death. It's a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. This is straight fire. If you like vetiver and fragrance, you're gonna love this. Definitely there's some saffron, like a little bit of saffron spices. There's this leathery feel, a dark component to aspect to it and there's definitely a lot of green vetiver because it's a vetiver based scent definitely some citruses from the orange blossom definitely check out tom ford gray vetiver parfum if you want a gentleman type of fragrance that you can wear dressed up or dressed down next fragrance is tom ford cafe rose so if you tried the original cafe rose this is a slight bit different there. i get a little bit of coffee and i've never tried the original from their private brand this is a signature line it's more fresher, more cleaner, definitely getting a watery feel with the rose. It's definitely a rose-based scent, but it's not as heavy or, or harsh in your face. It's a very easy to wear rose fragrance for a man or a gentleman. Definitely check out Rose Cafe by Tom Ford. Another Tom Ford, right? This is Tom Ford Azoro Lime. So if you like those fresh fragrances, watery, fresh citrus green fragrances, lime, you're gonna love Tom Ford. This is Azoro Lime. I love this one a lot. Performance ain't the best. You're looking at three, to maybe five hours push if you spray your clothes it's a fresh green type of fragrance i feel like there's mint but they don't list mint definitely lime and there's a lot of freshness a worry feel to it definitely check out tom ford azoro lime next tom ford is tom ford myrrh mysterious so this one here has notes of myrrh there's incense there's frankincense there's vanilla there's um um bunch of dark components in the fragrance, definitely incense. There's a sweetness from the vanilla, but definitely a myrrh, incense, frankincense, more of a darker fragrance for the fall and winter time. This is a masterpiece fragrance. I love this one, guys. If you want those interesting fragrances, like a fragrance aficionado, definitely check out Tom Ford. 
This is Myrrh Mystere. Next fragrance is from the house of Zahra from the Zen Creators. This is Of the Immortals. Of the Immortals is an amazing scent. So this one here has sea notes. Um, there's bergamot. There's uh, boozy notes to it. And they're definitely um, sweet. There's like vanilla touch to it. It's definitely a gourmand fragrance, right? This is definitely has some freshness and sea saltiness in the opening. But it's very different. You might need to let this sit on your skin and let it run out from the opening to the mid to the dry down because once this hit the mid dry down whoo this is straight fire guys sadly it's sold out but you could probably get decans in the facebook group i'll leave a link down below or websites this is straight fire if you want that gourmand slightly fresh sea salty fragrance of the immortals next fragrance from house is zahara this is from the zen creator collection justin copeland this is second soul wow this fragrance here is awesome another fresh fragrance but this one here is fresh there's lavender there's bergamot um this is one where i feel like and there's some ginger as well there's a uh vodka on the rock type of feel in this fragrance as well definitely a nice fresh and clean soapy fragrance if you try brass soul from justin copeland the first gen creator collection fragrance this one here is awesome definitely give me a fresh clean soapy vibe or i say in my head a Irish Spring Soap by very fresh and clean gentleman scent. I love the purple juice. I put a nice dent in it. This is straight fire. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down. Definitely check out Second Soul by Zahara. Third Zen Creator Collection fragrance is from the house of Zahara. This is from TLG or Ross Reviews. This is Even Mystique. So Even Mystique is, is a very different fragrance. There's frankincense, there's incense, there's spices, there's some pockenax. This one here is definitely more on the I said daring side, in my opinion, this is more of a fragrance fishing out of fragrance. This is not one where it's an easy fragrance to wear. Some people say it's very easy to wear. I feel I, I beg to differ. I feel like this is more challenging than the other two, but you still can wear it. You know what I mean? This A person that likes fragrances, that like the art of fragrances, will appreciate something like this. So definitely check out Even the Mystique by the House of Zahara. This is the Zen Creator. This is AKA Ross's fragrance. Next fragrance from House of Zahara. This is from their normal line. This is from George's brand. This is Zahara Signature Leather Tobacco. You guys know I love this fragrance. I keep talking to death about it. 10 out of 10. It's leather, incense, spices, frankincense. One of the best leather fragrances in 2023 plus moving into 2024. Best leather fragrance. Look at the dark juice. Beautiful dark juice. This fragrance, you only need one or two sprays, you're good. If you do three, that's fine, but it's overkill. This is beast mode, full arm length, and longevity is amazing. I'm getting 12, 13 plus hours. If you want a one of the best leather, incense, smoky fragrances on the market, and there's some plum and honey, definitely check out Zahara Signature Leather Tobacco. Next fragrance for now is the Zerzhov. This is Ura Gold. Aura Gold is an awesome fragrance, guy. I know it came up before. They got rid of it. I guess it got discontinued. I don't know the full story, and I really don't care. This is straight fire. This has lemon. There's bergamot. There's ginger. There's some fruitiness to it. If you like uh, Aura Pro, you're going to like something like this. But I feel like this is more on the fresher side. Not too overly fruity, but more smooth or easy to wear. It's not headache-inducing like Aura Pro is. This one here is fire, guys. Kelly loves this one as well. I've got her compliments, and she got her compliments wearing this as well. Definitely a fresh lemon bergamot, and there's some fruitiness to it as well. And there's a nice bit of sweetness from the mid to the dry down. This can be worn for men or women. Definitely unisex. Performance, 10 plus hours. And projections, a good two to three hours. So definitely check out Zerzhoff, and this is Aura Gold. Next fragrance we're talking about is Imaginary Authors in Love with Everything. This fragrance here is fire, guys. We have raspberry, citrus pulp, coconut, plum sugar, we have sandalwood, tropical punch, and a fantasy note stardust. This reminds me of, it's fresh, there's a little bit of coconut, there's some sugariness. This gives me that fruit punch vibe. Like if you ever had to drink fruit punch, or if you ever mixed it at your house when you were younger, or your mom did, it reminds me of fruit punch. Look at the dent we put in it. This fragrance is straight fire, guys. I love wearing this one. You can pick up samples at Imaginary Author, which I'll leave their website down below. Shout out to Josh Myers and his brand. Or you can get samples and decans at perfumology.com. Shout out to Nearguy and Brian. I'll leave the link down below. Definitely check them out. Next fragrance is my favorite from MYS to date right now. It could change in years to come. MYS, this is Search. I love Search. So this fragrance here has Gaiac wood. This fragrance here has frankincense. There's incense. This fragrance here has lemon. There's, I think there's bergamot. There's some oud. This fragrance here is a nice, fresh citrus fragrance. But there is some 
incense and frankincense in this fragrance well so you gotta be careful this may not be everybody's cup of tea i love this one it has great performance great longevity this is a fragrance fish now type of fragrance not every guy and girl will like this kelly doesn't really like it at all i love this one by the house of m watch it's a masterpiece definitely check it out next fragrance is from the house of mind games this here is called kaiser kaiser is amazing this here has notes of yang and yang white gardenia Oh, this is straight fire, guys. It has a sweetness and a freshness about it as well. I know my friend Jerome, first time I wore this, I met up with him to grab something. He said, Chris, you smell amazing. What is it? So I um, gave him a little sample of it. Head over heels. He loves this fragrance. Definitely there's a freshness about it, and there's a cleanliness about it, and there's a sweetness as well, and there's some nice bit of florals coming from it. It's a beautiful fragrance you would wear with a white t-shirt. Some people may say it leans feminine. This is straight fire, guys. If you're a guy, check this out. If you're a woman, you're going to love it as well, but check out my games this is kaiser next fragrance from also john paul gautier this is lamar elixir you guys know about this fragrance right tonka bean lavender mint um tobacco honey this is a masterpiece well, this one is beast mode nuclear if you like those sweet fragrances touch of honey booziness tobacco you're gonna love this fragrance here it's a beast mode scent and for one person that did not like this scent now you can't over spray this so be careful one or two sprays, you should be good. You don't need to do five or 10. This will get the job done. I've got her one or two compliments wearing this fragrance as well. People just like the DNA. You know, it's like, oh, you smell good. It's very, it's very sweet. There's a little bit of freshness from the lavender and the mint in the opening, but then it goes right into a sweet bond with the tonka, the honey, the vanilla. Definitely check out Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mans Elixir. Next fragrance is from the house of Hermes. One of my favorite brands. I'm starting to really enjoy it. This one here is called from the Eau Jardin line. And this is Eau Jardin Salent. Okay, this is awesome, guys. This one here has notes of lemon. There's pistachio. This is an awesome fragrance, guys. Very different fragrance. Definitely has a greenness about it. Like green leaves. Very fresh and clean. Lemony scent. This one here is straight fire. Definitely check it out by the house of Hermes. Next one is from the house of Frederick Maw. This fragrance is awesome. Some people say it's underrated. It's not the best. Uncut gem. This one here is another uh, bergamot ginger. This one here is straight fire, guys. If you like bergamot ginger, if you like those generic fresh and clean type of fragrances, you're going to love something like uncut gem. I love this one a lot, guys. This is straight fire. If it wasn't for the fact that the bigger 100 mil was 400 plus dollars, I would have bought the 100 mil. It's just something about this fragrance that smells so amazing, so authentic. I love this one. This one is a very easy to wear Frederick Mall. Most Frederick Malls are not easy to wear. This is very easy to wear. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down. You can wear this as a signature scent as well. Next fragrance from the House of Mind Games, we have Gardez Masterpiece, guys. If you love leather fragrances, this is the best in the game. If you like, I would say Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum, this is on steroids. It's an amazing scent, guys. So there's leather and there's aura so you're definitely getting that aura's powdery feel there's a freshness about it it's like a fresh leather jacket but it's easy to wear it's not harsh aggressive and they have a popcorn note in the dry down a very different type of fragrance but it's amazing guys this is a 10 out of 10 if you're a leather lover of fragrances definitely check it out next fragrance for now some mind games as well this is double attack so my friend louisiana fragrance like this one as well shout out to my boy this here has notes of bitter chocolate and we have saffron and there's the bitter orange as well so it's a nice bit of citrus in it and then there's some saffron and then there's a lot of bit of chocolate but the chocolate's not overbearing it's very easy where you could pull this off maybe in the summer light with the sprays one or two and you could pull it off in the spring fall and winter time it's not a heavy aggressive chocolate where it's choking you out but you get nice moderate projection around you and this is going to shine we will get close you're going to love that chocolatey smell and there's a little bit of citrus in the background so you definitely get a nice bit of freshness and orangeness in it definitely check out double attack by mind games next fragrance talk about is by Rados. this is their newest release animalique so animalique has notes of bergamot there's lemon there's violet there's sway there's sandalwood and then there's um amber Definitely the amber kind of get like a vanilla creamy feel in it. Definitely a lot, a, a lot of dose of freshness with the lemon and bergamot in the opening. But then the, you're definitely getting that soy leathery feel. But it's a freshness about it where it's not overly leathery or it's coin. It's like a lightly fresh fragrance with the touches of leather and sway. 
and you're definitely getting some amber touches and some creaminess. I kind of get like a biradal gypsy water, more tends to dry it out. Animalique is an amazing scent. Definitely check it out. Next fragrance is from the house of Goldfoot and Banks. Their newest release is Straight Fire. I talked about the death now and Genuous Ginger. Genuous Ginger is ginger, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, rose, um, sandalwood, vanilla. This is an amazing scent. If you like the note of ginger, this is an overload ginger fragrance. Now, this is a slight bit of rose, but I don't really pick it up. More ginger, more lemon, bergamot. You can wear this all year round as a signature scent. Maybe you want to be careful in the summer with the sprays because it's kind of heavy on the ginger and the lemon and bergamot. But the rest of the year, from spring, fall, winter, this is a masterpiece as well. Eight plus hours of longevity. You probably can get 10 to 12. And projection good for the first, I would say, two hours, maybe pushing three. This is a great fragrance. If you like the note of ginger and you want a ginger fragrance with depth and power and strongness, definitely check out Ingenuous Ginger by Goldfoot and Banks. Next fragrance I purchased was from the house of Roger Parfum. This is Elysium 010. So if you have the original Elysium, this one is a little bit different. This one I get more fresher. I get more like a fabric softener vibe, like you just wash your clothes. You get that vibe. Now... There's definitely, there's bergamot, there's lemon. This one has rhubarb as well. There's sandalwood. This one here is a good one, guys. If you want that fresh, clean, like a Blue de Chanel, Blue uh, Dior Sauvage, it's vibe. This is a very blue, fresh fragrance. And I've gone up one comment. The first time I wore this to work, my friend Josh said, man, you smell really good. I'm like, okay. He's like, I didn't think it was even projection. He said, bro, that thing is filling up this room here. I'm like, okay. And I only did like five sprays. But this is straight fire, guys, if you want a fresh blue type of scent. And maybe you ran out of Elysium. This one here is more on the blue, fresher side. Elysium was nice and citrusy. This is more blue, clean, gentleman type of scent. Definitely check out Rocha Parfum Elysium. And this is O Intense. Next fragrance is from the house of Rocha Parfum. This is Rocha Parfum Oceanus. Oceania is a beautiful lemon bergamot a fresh sea salty fragrance i kind of get aquatic feel but they don't list aquatic notes in this fragrance this reminds me of going down to the beach laying on the boardwalk smelling that ocean breeze air you know you're near the boardwalk you're smelling funnel cakes you're smelling um pizza you're smelling burgers you you know you're by the beach because you're smelling all the good food you're near the beach you see the seagulls you see the birds you know trying to get onto the sand to get people's food walk around this reminds me of going down to Wildwood, Cape May, just enjoying life. Guys, you ever been to Wildwood or Cape May, Lang City? You know what I'm talking about. This is straight fire, guys. If you want an Oceania beachy scent, definitely check out Rocha Parfum. And this is Oceania. It's a fantastic fresh fragrance. You're easily going to get six to eight to maybe 12 hours of longevity. This one here has great longevity. It's just a projection. For the first hour, it's moderate. It's not beast mode. It's like a nice scent bubble around you. But you're going to smell amazing. You're at least going to get six hours. Now, you might get eight or nine plus, but for sure you're going to get at least six hours of amazing, fresh, citrus, beachy, sea salty fragrance. But I also really should perform. This is Oceania. I love this beautiful bottle presentation as well. Number one fragrance I purchased from the house of Lella Beau. It was a last minute purchase. I had some extra money from YouTube, so I wanted to buy a bottle. This is another 13. So I have a full review on this fragrance here. And I do like the scent. I did try layering it one night when I went to bed. It kind of enhanced the fragrance I was wearing, but it's different. I haven't got a cotton wearing this one yet, but I'm going to wear it some more. I do like the way it smells in the air. And then when I spray it on my fiance, Kelly, she smells really good. Now, the first time I smelled it on myself, I smelled it really, I smelled really good. And then it does fade away where I can't smell it. Then it comes back. But this here, definitely try it out. It's definitely, you can layer it as well, like a Molecule One fragrance. But yeah, I picked up another 13, my last fragrance of 2023. So guys, what fragrances you buy in 2023? Drop a list down below. If you like videos like this, make sure you like the video. Click the bell icon to miss any future content on the channel. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Be safe, everyone. I'll catch a new video very soon. Peace.